Are we actually online? I do think so. I hope so. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, we can. Um, let's deactivate this right here. Hello, my good sons and daughters. So like announced, I'm going to do a little live stream right here. Um, everything seems to work out quite nicely. Hello, my sons and daughters. I have no idea what shot log cheese actually means. So, um, someone insulted me. Hello, Kletus. Yeah, you're a little, um, what's the ever to? So, um, there we go. Um, I'm terribly sorry about the flickering. I hope you can hear me clearly. Can you hear me even clearly? Um, yeah, hello. <laughs> so many people tuning in. So I'm going to wait for a few more seconds and then we can actually talk about what went wrong. So I hope I'm giving, uh, I'm getting all of this right then. Okay, a lot of people are watching. So the problem on my video today was, so we were introducing Z factorial actually, okay? Or Z minus one factorial. And what I did, I said that we have some one up until n and then n plus one times n plus one right here, okay? Up until Z. And then I said that we can take the limit as n approaches infinity and in the end, this thing is still bounded. Yeah, it is still bounded. But maybe I took the wrong approach here. Maybe it wasn't too intuitive for you. For, for me, at least, it was intuitive, um, to be honest. But for most people, it wasn't. So um, I would like to clear some stuff up. I was asking a friend of mine. His name is Cedric. He's a lawyer subscriber since back then. And he suggested to me that I should just manipulate it in a different way. So I hope you can see everything clearly. Um, yeah, so we are going to start off with Z factorial right here, and then we are basically just going to advance Z factorial by um, Z plus 1 times Z plus 2 up until Z plus N. So we are not going to talk about any restrictions on N, whether it's less or greater than our Z right here. So we are advancing this thing right here, so it's also over Z plus 1 times dot 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 up until z plus n. Okay? So many people watching. 87. Oh, um, the volume is a little bit low. I'm terribly sorry, my boys and girls. Mm -hmm. um, maybe I should increase it a little bit. Give me a second. I'm going to give it a shot. Where the fuck is my microphone? There it is. There it is. Um, I don't know where to set it up. I'm using OBS at the moment. I'm terribly sorry. What? I should yell? <laughs> Let's bring the microphone a little bit closer to me. Okay, um, can you even see me clearly now? That's a live stream, so it's bound to be shitty. Mm -hmm. Love you guys. Mm -hmm. That's a sexy ASMR, and I hope I'm not lagging in any way. So you see, we were just advancing this thing right here. And what we basically want to do now is to manipulate this a little bit more. So what we are going to do next... I'm going to put this here a little bit more. Mm. Oh, I should do more ASMR in the near future. <laughs> <laughs> so what we would like to do, so you see this up here is nothing but Z plus N factorial, okay? This stuff right here evaluates to Z plus N factorial. We are going to split this up exactly into N factorial times N plus one, dot, 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 up until Z plus N once again, okay? Over the same stuff that we had right here. So z plus 1, dot, 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 z plus n. Okay, so you see we were just um, turning this around a little bit, so just like we did before. And down here in the numerator, you might have already guessed it, we can drag out the n factorial just like we did before. So this down here is nothing but um, n factorial times the product running from k being equal to 1 to n of our um, 1 plus z over k. Okay, I hope you can see where this came from. This was part of my video today. So n factorial and this is going to cancel out in the limit. So what we are ending up with is actually nothing but, okay, at the moment n plus one times dot 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 z plus n over this product that we have right here. I hope I'm not doing any mistakes right now. It's a bit improvised actually. Okay, this is what we have right here. Let me take a look at the comments just so that I can communicate with you guys a bit. Mm. 
Avengers Integral was announced. <laughs> um, yeah, about that. Um, so, Avengers Euler game, how I like to um, say it, is going to be, but like I said, um, two people are going to vanish. Um, you might have guessed who they are. I tried talking to at least one of them, to the other one I can't really talk because the guy blocked me, so I don't even know what the problem is. They are pissed for some odd reason. I don't know what the reason is, so I really don't give a shit anymore. If they don't want to have a nice relationship with me, then I really don't give a shit. So yeah, fuck off. So how can we actually continue? Let me erase this right here, so there was just the ansatz that we had. And continuing from there. What can we actually do? So we can express this right here as nothing but n to the z power. So if you track it out, we did this before. n to the z power times, okay, what are we going to get? We are going to get 1 plus 1 over n and then times dot 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 up until 1 plus z over n. Okay, and we have the same thing down here once again. So we are going to get the product from 1 to n of 1 plus z over k. Okay, this is what we had before, so yeah, we are still good. So nothing really changed from there, but there was one thing many people were confused about, actually. So, um, yeah, we would like to take the limit now as n approaches infinity on both sides. So on the left-hand side, we initially had um, z factorial, so that's just constant, taking a limit of the constant results in the constant itself, so it really doesn't quite matter. So we end up with, um, would you please work? Um, z factorial being nothing but the limit as n approaches infinity, I'm going to refer to it as capital L. Here goes. So now 1 plus 1 over n in the limit is going to vary a to just 1, because 1 over n in the limit is just going to be 0, so this is 1. Same thing with all the other terms, so this is 1 times 1 times 1, z times is nothing but 1, okay? So we are actually going to get n to the z power over our product that we have right here, 1 plus z over k. Oh yeah, that's that's a really thick line right here, my boys and girls out there. Okay, and now here comes the part many people were confused about, so what I did, I was turning around this n to the z power, okay? Oh, where am I even looking? I'm looking at the microphone to do some sexy ASMR. So, n to the z power. I said it in the video, but I <sighs> said it a bit lax, to be honest, because um, I didn't really say that in the limit it doesn't quite matter if you have n plus 1 over n or you have n minus 1 over n. So let me go through this right here once again. So we are going to have 2 over 1 and then we have um, 3 over 2, dot, 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 up until, so actually we would have n over n minus 1, okay, to the z power. This is what we have up here, meaning we are going to deal with an infinite product, uh, a finite product from k being equal to 1 to n minus 1 in this case. So um, look here, my boys and girls, of um, this is going to be k plus 1 over k. Okay? But what we can actually do, we can multiply this piece of shit right here with nothing but, um, so multiplying this product that we have right here with nothing but. Um, we want to advance this to the point that we have um, n plus 1 over n to the z power over n plus 1 over n to the z power. So I hope you see where I'm going with this. If we drag this into here, our infinite product is actually going to run to n, what we had in the video. Okay, so this thing right here, let's get rid of this, is nothing but the limit as n approaches infinity of, okay, now we are going to have this um, n plus 1 over n to the negative z power times the, inf the finite product, that's not an infinite product, um, from k being equal to 1 to n of 1 plus, um, no, not 1 plus 1, um, yeah, uh, yeah, you could write like that, so um, n plus 1 over n right here, okay, over this product that we have, 1 plus z over k, and that's not an n right here, that's supposed to be a k. I'm pretty r, I shouldn't say the word, <laughs> I don't want to offend anyone, and you see, um, if we take the limit as n approaches infinity on this term, actually, 
then okay, this is going to result in one, this first part, and then zero, so this is just a one. Okay, so in the limit, this thing right here is going to vanish, and we are actually going to end up with the stuff that we had before. So um, I just wanted to clear this up a little bit, be because some people were confused about it. Um, I'm terribly sorry if I did confuse anyone, that wasn't my intention, but yeah, um, shit happens. My channel is just a learning opportunity for me, actually, so... Because of this channel, I was able to find out about a lot of stuff, and it's just so much fun researching this stuff. And yeah, uh, mistakes happen, or sometimes I'm not rigorous enough, so I excuse that behavior of mine. It just happens. Um, yeah, uh, I thank you guys for watching. Many people tuned in, actually. I'm also terribly sorry that my video files got corrupted and I lost my actually uncut footage that I wanted to upload to the second channel make sure to subscribe to the second channel, because why the hell not, to stay updated on um, Rot. Ich liebe dich, my boy. Ich liebe dich so sehr, mein Sohn. Mein süßer kleiner Sohn. Yeah, that was some sexy German ASMR. And I guess that's it. I should do a, another integral stream once in a while, or maybe 100 derivatives, um, if you wish. Um, and yeah, up until the next video, have Flem day i guess i thank you guys for tuning in that was just a little complimentary video that was absolute dog shit see ya i can't find obs where, where is it bruh oh that's a real bruh moment bruh